a quick video on SEO for Terry's Tasty Treats. And what I'm going to cover is the things that you can do on your website uh, to help you get found in Google search. So I'll go into my editor again. Um, now there's a number of things that you can do. And what I'm going to show you is uh, here, if you go into settings, and then you come in here under, uh, let me see, under uh, the settings, what you will see when you first go into settings is there's an option here to show advanced. And if you click on that, you'll come down and there's an option here that says SEO. You want to go to SEO first. So you can see I've done a number of things already for my SEO, but I haven't done all of them. So this one is a set aside for your title. It says, um, so if you mouse over it, it tells you what you need to do, use from the title bar and search results to be no longer than 70 characters. I'll just show you where that is. Your site title is under the basic information. So if you go here at the moment, it says Terry's site. That's the default that was set up when I um, set up my Strikingly account. What would be more useful, what you want to do is to think of what people might search on. So I might put down something like um, uh, home uh, made uh, um, baked uh, goods uh, and uh, treats, um, uh, Wexford, and then hyphen uh, Terry's uh, tasty uh, treats. So the reason why I put it this way is because um, what people search on um, is, is uh, what you want to put first. Because when Google looks at that, when they look at the site title, which is a really important part of SEO, they're going to be matching it with what people are searching on. So I know that more people are going to be searching on things like homemade baked goods and treats than they are going to be searching for Terry's Tasty Treats. So I want to have Terry's Tasty Treats in the site title, definitely. But what I want is I want what they're searching on first. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. Come back down to SEO. So do you see it now says that my site title is all done. Uh, set a striking URL or custom domain. Uh, if I go into this link here, uh, uh, this option domains, ideally for SEO, you want a custom domain. So instead of having something like Terry's Tasty Treats.strikingly.com, what you want for SEO is Terry's Tasty Treats.com, www.terrystastytreats.com or .ie or .whatever. Um, this is a strikingly domain. It is not a custom domain. So if you really want good SEO, you need to have a custom domain. Um, so the SEO, uh, let me see if I come back down here, set a meta description. So I have already done that. And I will just go back into the basic information again. And this is where you put a site description. So this information here, you want to make it very friendly, but you also want to naturally fold in things that people might be searching on. This site description here is what will come up in Google search. When people are searching for things like homemade goodies, this is what's going to come up. Uh, if I come back here, then set a category. That is already done as well. So this is a business and you can set the category here. And I come back here, uh, set a, a social share image. And this is under the sharing information. If I come here, um, this is the social share. So the default, if you don't change this, is it's going to have a striking the image. So what you want to do is put in an image that reflects um, what your site is about. And what I typically do is if I go to my website, I will use my snipping tool um, that is available with all Windows platforms. And I will just snip this. Um, and I will take a copy of that and I will save it as Terry Tasty Treats. And then I put down social share or something like that. And then you can upload that there. So I already have one there, so I'm not going to do that. But that's how I came up with that image is I actually just took a snip of the outside of the website. Um, if I come back here to SEO, um, the other thing is to set a favicon. And what that is, if I come back to the sharing information, that's this little thing here as well. And what that is, is it's the little icon at the top of the tab. So if you can set a favicon again, that just means that your site is more personalized. It's going to it's going to look like a more legit site as opposed to, you know, any sort of freebie site that is out there. Uh, come back down to SEO as well. Um, Google site verification. 
So if you click on this, so I'll go ahead and click on it, it will go into an article that you can read about how you can verify your site on uh, Google Webmaster Tools. Uh, if you are hosting with me, I do this, I can do this for you. Uh, so it's actually very easy to do. Um, but um, that's for the Google site uh, verification. The um, keywords and the heading text, what that is, um, is that these here are all your headers. Underneath that is your subheaders. And they follow a logical and natural order in your website. So again, this is a header. Underneath it are, is your subheader. So here, this is your header. These are your subheaders. So what you want to do, these are, uh, these are also, um, uh, these are also section headers and section uh, subheaders, and then this is text. So what you want to do, th this follows a, an order of importance, and the order of importance tells Google what the site is about. So this is actually a title section here. So this is going to be the uh, this is going to be one of the most important things that you put out there. Uh, and what you want to do is, if you can. Uh, in any of these things is to put in what is um, uh, keywords that are natural, that sound natural on your website. So it doesn't look like you've come to a website and someone has just stuffed it with all these keywords. You want it to fold in keywords naturally to talk about what your site is about, that what people might be searching on. So in this case, I've got things like treats, which will be picked up. Uh, on this one, it's Terry's Tasty Treats. I might put in something like homemade goodies or whatever. Here I have our uh, treats, or I might put in something like our homemade uh, treats. Uh, you know, fold in keywords that people might search on in the headers. So wherever there is a header, and this is actually, uh, this is actually a header for this uh, section, um, think about the words that you use and how you can naturally fold in keywords so that you can be better found. Um, okay, so that's the that's the section where it says keywords and heading text. Um, the other thing is alt uh, image alt tags. Image alt tags are really important. So that is like where you go into uh, any of these places where there are images. You click on the edit and it says add alt text. And in here, I'm going to put in something like uh, uh, Terry's uh, Tasty uh, Treat and then uh, Banana uh, Nut Bread. Okay, and when I save that, uh, that will help Google find this image. It will let Google know that this is an image of Banana Nut Bread and it was made by Terry's Tasty Treats. The reason why this is actually quite important is that 30% of all searches are image searches. And Google doesn't know just by the image what that is. But if someone is looking for banana nut bread, you know, if you put in the alt tag, you're more likely to be found for that particular item. Uh, so it is, it is quite important, the alt tags. Um, you also want to do them for icons. So for even small things like this, I would actually put in the alt tag here. I would put in Terry's Tasty Treats, Homemade Goodness, County Wexford, something like that. Um, so I would use this as an opportunity to go through all of your images on the website and add the alt text. Okay, so if I come back in here to the settings, um, just to mention that on uh, the meta description, if you have a multi-page site, you want to set a meta description for every single page, okay? Um, so if one of these is unticked, just click on this and it will bring you to the section that you need to work on. And that should help you, give you the, the basic information of what you need uh, to get uh, your the SEO right for your Strikingly website. That is a very good start. And if you can do those things, you'll be, um, you'll, you'll be doing very well.